MLB player props here on Prize Picks for Wednesday, May 24th. Before I get started, there is a link in the description below. You can sign up for Prize Picks there, or you can use promo code TUFF, 100% deposit match. Discord link is in the description. Main server is completely free. We do also have the Patreon link in there as well, where I do post all the plays here that I'm making on Prize Picks for each given sport that I do play. Again, I do need to mention as well, I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. These are simply just plays I'm personally looking at making, hopefully giving you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one is pressing submit on those parts plays other than yourselves but let's get into it you guys i got two plays here from this mlb slate today we have a massive slate today we have the uh, discount dogs here on price picks we got joe ryan uh, mcclanahan and alcantara all discounted here on their strikeout lines and in my opinion i'm taking the over on all of these i do like all of them and i do think they present value um let's get into it though i did give a make a youtube video for mlb i think a week ago maybe like last monday and we went two for two so it's been a decent i haven't made a ton of mlb videos but obviously once the nba season ends we'll be consistently putting out mlb content as well as WNBA content um again if you do appreciate this video all i ask is please drop a like on this video and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet already but let's get right into it you guys i got two plays that i'm targeting here uh the first one is going to be miller it's going to be bryce miller over 35 and a half pitcher fantasy score here against the oakland athletics now Bryce Miller is having a really good year. I mean, he is a, you know, I think he's the second ranked prospect in the uh, Seattle Mariners system here. He's gone over this in three of of his last four starts, essentially. Um, That tough start here against Atlanta when he finished with 26, but it's had 40, 43 fantasy against the tough Houston Astros team. And then in the same matchup that he has tonight, he had 49 pitcher fantasy score in his major league debut against the Oakland Athletics. But let's get into why I like this play. So we take a look at Bryce Miller here. Like I said, he's faced Oakland already at Oakland on the road. He's actually only fi- uh, played one game, started one game at home, and that was when he finished with 43 fantasy score, six innings, uh, six innings, no earned runs, two hits against Houston. But in that game against Oakland, you guys on the road in his major league debut, six innings. Again, that was his debut, so they're not gonna. They weren't trying to really throw him a ton. He is coming off a game, I believe, where he pitched um, his most recent outing. He pitched 102 pitches, so they're definitely looking to you know slowly acclimate him to the major league level. But he already pitched 102 pitches in a game in his last start. So, but he did go uh, six innings, no earned run or six innings. Sorry, one earned run, six innings, ten strikeouts here against Oakland. We know Oakland is a very, not a very good baseball team. We take a look at the splits for Oakland um, this season against righties, the most highest strikeout rate in baseball. They are the the second lowest batting average against righties, the uh, third lowest OBP, the third lowest slugging uh, OPS, second lowest OPS, um, ISO. We're looking at the, what is this, eighth most, eighth lowest ISO batting average per inning pitched, fourth lowest. So we know they... Oakland Athletics are not a very good baseball team whatsoever. We look at starting pitchers, um, FanDuel fantasy score game log of the season versus Oakland. I mean, look how many dudes have done very well. Marco Gonzalez, who's been struggling this season, had 34 fantasy points yesterday. Um, Luis Castillo had 52. Framber Alvarez, Hunter Brown, Brandon Belak all cleared this number pretty easily with 45, 46, and 58. Um, we just see, I mean, look at these numbers. Look at how many pitchers have cleared the over on this fantasy score line, starting pitchers this season versus Oakland, right? A ton. We know Bryce Miller's stuff is very nasty. I'm just going to play one clip for you guys. Again, hopefully it doesn't get copyright here, but just take a look at this clip for Bryce Miller. I mean, his stuff is disgusting. 96 going downhill. It, it, it's pretty tough for, for these pitchers to hit. Now, the only concern here is obviously is Oakland has seen him play once, um, but Oakland just not a very good baseball team. You can see the number of guys in their starting lineup with the strikeout percentage over 20%. Every single guy except for uh, T. Kemp, I think this is Tony Kemp, um, with the strikeout percentage over 20%. I mean, we've got numerous guys here over 25%. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, seven of their nine guys in their starting lineup projected tonight um, have a strikeout percentage over 25 percent of the time so i think if safely right we're looking at bryce miller going six innings getting around six strikeouts he's projected for six strikeouts just to say he pushes his strikeouts he goes six inning pushes his strikeouts here gives up like one earned run at most um i mean at, at at the floor level i think we're looking at bryce miller 34 fantasy points and that's taking away like um it's not including the the win, right? The win is six points here. If you don't know how fantasy score works for for MLB for pitchers, they get six points for a win, four points for a quality start, and a quality start, I believe, is uh, six innings or more pitch while allowing three earned runs or less, um, three points for a strikeout, and then one point per out that they get. They lose three points per earned run. They do give up though, however. 
But Bryce Miller here pitching at home. Um, the odds here on Outlier are good for us as well. He's under. He's minus 152, you guys, to go under two and a half earned runs minus 160 actually on bet mgm here bryce miller pitching at home again like i said he's only outing at home um this season at home i mean he's pitched one start like i said no earned runs six innings two hits uh, opponent batting average 105 and that was against a very very tough houston astros lineup you guys i mean we're talking about i mean debatably one of the better lineups in baseball versus quite possibly the worst lineup in baseball here at home for Bryce Miller. Um, again, we see the hit rate for starting pitchers this season. All right, we got literally like, look, all we need is 35.6 fantasy from him tonight. Stroman was able to clear this line with six innings, um, six innings, one earned run, and only four strikeouts. So I think Bryce Miller tonight, I think he locks in at home. Um, his second career start at home, I think 35 and a half. This was at 34 and a half. It bumped up. I'm still playing it at 35 and a half. Um, I just think, you know, we take a look at how he's played this season, 49 fantasy already versus Oakland this season. I think, you know, we're taking a look. We just need, what is that? Like, uh, 13 fantasy points less than that to hit the over tonight. Uh, I like, uh, Bryce Miller over 35 and a half pitcher fantasy score, um, tonight. So the second one here is going to be just a wagon. It's going to be Aaron Judge over nine and a half fantasy. He's just been on an absolute heater lately. He's over this line in five of his last five games here. Uh, 12, 21, 18, 24, and 16 fantasy score over his last five. I think he's got a home run in eight of his last nine games. Dude has been playing absolutely electric. We take a look at his fantasy score game log this season. Um, I mean, this is he's he's on a pretty crazy run, right? Over his last five, he's hit the over on this. But technically, he's hit the over on this in uh, one, two, three, uh, eight. That would be, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of his last nine games. He has hit the over on this. And again, like I said, uh, two home runs. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight home runs in his last nine games. Since coming back, I think he was on the IL for a little bit. Um, yeah, from 427 to May 9th, he was on the IL. But he's been absolutely raking this fantasy score line since coming off the IL. We take a look at Aaron Judge this season versus Baltimore as well. Has a pretty solid hit rate. Um, he's only missed one game where he finished with nine fantasy Again, that was when he he had one walk, I believe, and one stolen base to finish with nine fantasy, and yeah, one walk and one stolen base to finish with nine fantasy in that matchup. But it's had 21, 43.6, and 12.5 fantasy versus the Baltimore Orioles this season. Um, in this matchup here against Baltimore, back on what day is this? What day was this? Uh, April 9th, I believe. Right, we look at Aaron Judge and his player stats. And I believe this is when he faced Tyler Wells. So he's already faced Tyler Wells this season, right? And Aaron, uh, sorry, Aaron Judge against Ty Tyler Wells. I mean, 17, this is in his career, by the way. 17 plate appearances, eight hits, four singles, a double, three home runs, batting 471 with a 1.059 slugging percentage here versus Tyler Wells. Um, Tyler Wells is a right-handed pitcher, and this season Aaron Judge versus righties hits the ball so much better. 327 average with a 1.157 OPS against righties compared to lefties when you look at his splits here. Um, again, he's raking Tyler Wells this season. Like He already has a game, like I said, um, down here. Versus Tyler Wells, way back here on April 9th, where he had four at-bats, had three hits, and two home runs, and two RBIs. So even if they don't, that's why I like fantasy score here as opposed to, like, total bases. Because if they just somehow decide to not pitch to Aaron Judge and, you know, he walks four times tonight um, or whatever the case may be, I definitely think he's going to be put in prime position to get some fantasy points tonight. Obviously, if you don't know how the fantasy score breakdown goes, here's how it goes. Three points for a single. Say he gets walked. Um, twice right and steals a base maybe that that should be pretty close to putting us on the over so i like aaron judge tonight uh obviously the uh statistics and the data like it too he's on an absolute here eight home runs over his last nine games we take a look at some odds here for aaron judge as well um odds here minus 288 on caesars to get a hit tonight um he's you know what else do we got here minus 165 minus 170 on caesars to score a run he's at minus 137 on caesars as well to go over 1.5 total bases um i love aaron judge tonight over one point over 0.5 walks at minus 135 I think there's just a variety of factors here that can go into play for Aaron Judge to hit this 9.5 fantasy score here. So these are the two plays that I am playing tonight here on Price Picks for MLB. Again, let me know in the comments below you guys feel about these two plays here. Drop a like on this video. 
hit that subscribe button and as always let's cash